So today's video is going to be a huge topic that has been happening around all over the community in Survive the Night. And that topic is, is Survive the Night dying? Now technically, yes, it is dying because the numbers each update go lower, 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 lower. But some updates, it hits back to 1,000 players like the Halloween event. But I'm just going to express my opinion and my thoughts on this situation. So enjoy. Technically, Survive the Night is quote unquote dying as the player count gets lower within every update but like i have a i feel like the majority of the problem is people are just bored like every week is just one gear skin one slasher skin one taunt maybe a perk if we're lucky and people are just overall bored of that that's why the numbers have been slowly decreasing within every update and i think it's just really boring surviving five minutes over and over and over again I played Survive the Night since launch and I don't get really I really don't get too bored of Survive the Night, but within these past couple of months I've I've just been getting bored. Now for me, one of the biggest downsides of Survive the Night is daily tasks. I know they're meant to be fun, but like they're just so annoying sometimes. Like sometimes you can get killed 10 players and then players will automatically just reset or then you're gonna get like a lobby with three players and there's only two survivors to kill. Not to mention, one of the majority of the problems are pro lobbies, I guess. Like, if you join Sarad Knight right now, I guarantee you there will be three players that are ranked 700 and above, and they just use tryhard slashers or tryhard gears that loop, and it's just not very fun overall. And then there are others, tasks are just like overall boring. Like, story mode task is so annoying, I don't even complete it for days at a time when I get it. Cause like, story mode is cool and all, but like, repeating it is just boring after the first few times and then tent task can also be annoying because i have to stand in one place for what two minutes 30 seconds and place one more tent down just for a dumb token and those are modes like i mostly play survival the night to play slasher because i really enjoy playing slasher and then i wait five rounds and boom contagion Boom, Deep Knight. Like, I waited five rounds and I don't even get to use my ability and the survivors are just freaking overpowered in modes like Contagion. And then in Deep Knight, nobody can do anything. So it just makes the round boring. And I can't even reset properly because the round will just go on if the slasher dies for some reason. I mean, I just really hate Contagion in Deep Knight because it takes away my slasher round so much. Like recently, the Freddy Krueger and Horrifying Trait video, it took me over like 5 hours to get the footage on and it wasn't even that long of a video because I kept getting Contagion and I kept getting Deep Knight and it was just annoying overall. Or I would just get, or all the players would just leave and reset before I even got to use my ability and my trait, which is just annoying overall. And speaking of people resetting, tryhards are so annoying. When you catch them, they literally just leave the game, or reset, or change their entire loadout, their slasher, their trait, their perk, their gear, just to counter specifically you. Personally, those are just my issues with the game, except for like Contagion and Deep Knight, but everything other than that, it's bearable. But another huge loss Surviving Knight has recently suffered is Zeal. If you didn't know, Zeal used to work on Surviving Knight, and he's literally made so much gear skins. He's He made all the Christmas uh, skins, all the Halloween skins, and all the summer skins, and like all of the lamps and everything. Recently, he l resigned from Orc Tomb, if you didn't know. It basically means he quit. Now this sucks because as you know, Zeal was responsible for nearly all of the gear skins in the game and some epic slasher skins like Headless Chef, Skullface, Scarecrow, and those are just the bare minimum of the slashers he made. He recently resigned for reasons I won't say, but just having him leave the team in development for Survive Night is just a huge loss in general. Also, if you didn't know, Roblox has been completely trolling Survive Night. Like, so many bugs have occurred that affected Survive the Night so much. Like, for one, the leak, memory leak, I think, where the more you play, the more you lag. And then one, the second one was the audio bug, where half of the audios in the game deleted itself, including stuff like heartbeat, breathing sounds, taunts, etc. And then the third one, where nearly all audios were lowered and rack out of manually turn them up to like a thousand just so we could hear them normally and to my knowledge that still isn't fixed which also sucks and could it's a major reason why survive the night isn't doing too well right now so 
yeah, it's, it really sucks. Many YouTubers like K, JMT, Vefs, and JoJo have recently stopped uploading frequently because they are bored of Survive the Night. Now, I stopped uploading frequently like for two weeks, I think, then I came back, but like, it's still, it, you really get burnt out of this game sometimes. It really does that. As of right now, Survive the Night is going to have an update every two weeks instead of every week now as Rack and Spidey, the developers of the game, are working on a game called EOA. I won't go into too much detail about it here as I'm going to make a video on it soon, but that game is really exciting and I'm really looking forward to it, so yeah. And the point of this video isn't to spread any hate or cause drama, I'm just simply expressing my feelings and my opinions on the game's state right now, so don't spread any hate to Racker Spy developers of the game as they work very hard on this game. Also, one more fact that I wanted to add is story mode. I really enjoy story mode, but the progression we get nights at is like super slow. Like we were promised night 3 before October the Halloween event, or during October and it's now almost going to December and still no night 3 which sucks and it's a bummer since I really enjoy story mode unless it's for daily tasks. So in summary, I think Survive the Night is slowly dying yes as more and more people are getting bored of just surviving every 5 minutes but I think there's gonna be like a stable amount of people gonna play it for a while like I would say 200 to 500 people but maybe if we get a big update like another story mode night, it could go to like 1,000 players or more. I, I will stay with Survive the Night and continue making videos on it as long as it gets updated. So I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. But I also will be making videos on Survive the Night and EOA, so stay tuned for that. Now, as of currently, those are all my reasons and my opinions why I think Survive the Night is kind of not doing well right now. And I would like to hear some of your guys' opinions. Comment below and... Thanks for watching. See ya. Future Pumpkin here. Uh, since Zeal did all the uh, like event reskins for Halloween, Christmas, and summer, I'm not sure if there's going to be any new Christmas items for this year or a Christmas event in general. I'll put up some screenshots, but both Rack and Spidey said they aren't going to make Christmas new Christmas skins. So I'm not sure what to really expect for this update, but yeah. That's just one more point I wanted to add. Other than that, thank you all for watching. I spent a long time on this video. See ya.